Right then, I've got a job on tomorrow. I've been working away today, but I've been given a job tomorrow. We we thought it was impossible, but we think we've come up with a solution. Here we go, look. Right, I've got to get that, which is a four car 240, into that, which isn't very big. So, what we've got, one of those. Now we're gonna, obviously, you can see, you can't put it on the end, like the rest of them were on the end. So we're gonna put it here, mount it on that bolt, across, and then let it come down, right? So this will be hanging down here somewhere. That cable is gonna go into there, Fortunately for me, those fronts come off, look. Right, so the cable can go straight through and poke out into sort of here. Then what I'm hoping I can do is bend them back up through this plate here, which is gonna be jigsawed out and onto the terminations, which are about here. So that's gonna be hilarious tomorrow. This is what I've been doing. So letting them sweep up. They go right close to the beam because they're too low and then straight in there's another one over there so there's that one there again sweeps up and across and in and then there's this one which again is too low so it's actually touching the beam and then it goes in on an angle into the box. Now believe it or not, they were relatively easy. I think this one, I've just showed you, is gonna be pretty difficult. That's for tomorrow. Right then, Thursday morning. We'll clean the lens again. I must have really filthy pockets. Right, I want to put two jumpers on because it is absolutely freezing, it's like the start of winter. So what I've done is I've got the, the Corex stuff, because the wind's coming in that way, and I've made myself a, a windbreak, which is nice. But this is the first job. Just put that strap on there, strap on. And then what I'm gonna do when I pull the cable up, it won't, it, it, it'll bend at that point. So it won't bend any, it won't pull all of this out and fall off the rack and all that sort of stuff so safety first right the aim is to hit this about there so the cable will, will sweep up like that and in then the cable goes through the box out in out to where we are stood or where i am stood and then i'm going to hopefully bend it back through there and the terminations are inside there they are look now what someone's conveniently done is put this piece of trunking above and wired all of this into it so i need all of that out so i can get into terminated so i don't know who's going to do that plus that that needs to come out so it all needs disconnecting in order to be able to actually access that box brilliant so first thing Oof, I'm standing here, that wind's terrible. So I need to shorten the cable, so I'm going to cut it about here. Somewhere on the floor there. And then that gives me enough to get it turned and up and in. Well, it's too much, but you know what I mean. So I'll get that cut now. Right, first job done. Got the base of the gland mounted so I can get a measure. Second, well, first job was that, second job was that. Cable cut down to a manageable sort of size. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, one of the pullers off that beam. I'm going to bring it down to about there or somewhere, if you can look at that. And then I'm going to pull it up like that towards that to get a bend in it. 
then I'll have to hold it up off one of these beams so I can get an accurate measure as it comes through at that height. Get the measure on it, ring it, cut it, cut it even shorter so the cores can bend like that and in. I think I can manage with this thing, whatever it is, the trunk and being in there, I'll just have to squeeze in. So, here we go. Just for reference, I can't actually describe here how cold it is. I know we're in the northeast of England, but Jesus. So here what I'm doing, obviously setting the puller up and I'm making sure that I get the tie point of where I want to lift exactly right. It is critical. I'm prising the cable up now to enable me to get a, a secure tie around it. And then once the tie's in place, I can revert back to the puller to hoist it up at the angle that I require it to be at. Um, it's no good just guessing at the position because it won't then get me the bend that I need. This this point, this piece here is pivotal in making the job look good. So, yeah, just getting it tied in place now. And then I'll start ratcheting. Now I'm just getting a um, tape measure. I'm going to measure from the terminals out, back into the box, into the spreader box, and then back to the gland. And then that'll give me the next measurement to cut the cable down in order to uh, strip it down and get the gland on.
and there we have it the bend set you can't really that's terrible lighting by the way but if you look there's the gland behind the cable so obviously that's the height I want to be at comes along I've got that one to stop it rising too high I've got that one to hold it level <clears throat> that one is pulling pulling the bit like that sets so you, you saw me bend I used that one to bend against to set that bend obviously the strap was on already then that one pulls it down to the same level and then I bend it up against that strap to straighten it back out from its from its 45 set so that's it done now I need to get a measure from the cable to the gland which will probably be about there oh you can't see about there I shall bring that take the strip it to fit the gland and then what I'm going to do I'm not going to bother unsetting all of this I want to unbolt that take it off slide it onto the cable onto the gland and just connect the lock nut I'm saying just it's not that easy but that's the that's the stages and the steps that I'm gonna do I'll see if I can show you I will say about the exhaust cutter look how tight that is hardly any room you wouldn't be able to get a hacksaw around there junior axe or anything and I've just completely ringed that cable Lemon squeezy, beautiful. This is what I meant by it not being easy. <clears throat> Obviously I've got six, possibly eight bolt holes to line up from the main box to the left and the, um, the spreader box I'm putting on. Couple that with the weight of that cable just wanting to drop to the floor every 30 seconds. It is quite difficult to get the holes lined up, which is what I'm using the ratchet, uh, the ratchet puller for, but it still doesn't line up exactly perfect. So then you've got to, um, you've got to really work at it and try and get the bolt started. Once you've got one bolt started, that's pretty decent, but getting the bolt started is the pain, is the real pain. Fortunately for me, I would deem that the easy bit. So I've got to get, I've got to bend, see the, the letterbox they've made for me? So I've got to bend these cores through that letterbox and onto the terminals, which are, there look, 
don't know, five, five, six hundred mil away. So I'm hoping that when I ring this, I can bend each individual core sufficiently to get it through in there. And obviously, it needs to be inside that. It can't be sticking out here or the lids won't go on. Wish me luck. I am, however, happy with how that's gone. I need, to, there's a slight gap there. I need to tighten that lock nut. I haven't tightened the lock nut yet. So, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. It went in pretty well. Let's see if I can show you from over here. Yeah, look, the light's not great, but you can see sweeps up to the set where I made where I bent it down, then pulled it straight and bent it up at that end so it straightened it out into the uh, doings, the box with the gland on. Now I'm going to strip them down to the cores and uh, hopefully, using all my strength that I've that I've got, I can bend them in. I hope. Right, I have to make an executive decision now. So what I need to do, obviously, this is quite high up. That is quite, oh, it's that one, that's quite low down. I need that there. So what I'm gonna do is cut the, cut the core so it goes inside, but I'm not gonna cut it length, like get an exact measure. I'm gonna cut it so I can push it inside the box, I think. And then hopefully I can bend it down to where it wants to be. And that little bit extra there, that little bit, will give me a bit of a bit of leverage, hopefully. Oh god, this is This is scary. Right, what I've rigged up here is a pulling contraption. Oh, by the way, that one's connected. So what I've got, I've tied a rope round the car. I've tied the rope round the ratchet strap the ratchet strap goes over onto that beam just so I've got this at hand to uh, able so I'm able to control the tension because what I can't do is pull it and keep a constant tension on the core if I'm like holding it like that and pull it and I can't I can't keep that tension on so what this does is I can pull it and I can set it it's been set it's about 30 seconds now um, so what I'll do is I'll cut, I can keep the tension on there for a while and that core will set, it'll bend and it won't spring back too much that way. So that's what I want, that's, I want it to stay somewhere around that. Now, once I've, it's set enough, basically I'll put the camera down and it'll be set. I'll cut it again, about here, to, I'll cut it there, lower it inside and I'll be able to get a measure because that's its, that's its lug there. So I'll be able to get a measure to that lug, get a bit of bend on it, and I'll be able to get that one terminated as well. Then it'll be time for the grey, the L3, and the neutral over there. And then I've got to put an earth from this bar round to the banjo, which is somewhere in there it is.
that's that one in. Now this isn't the neatest job I've ever done, but obviously there's a reason for why it isn't the neatest job I've ever done. Because it's bloody hard, that's why. So that's the last one. I'm gonna get that one in now, get the lug on there, get a measure. I'm gonna pull with the little contraption I've set up for the simple reason is what it'll do, it'll set the bend because, if you just have a quick look, see, there look, if you look, that's quite close. So I need it to go in a little bit more. So I'm gonna pull that, get it set, and then I'll be able to get the measure on it, and I'll be able to get the, get the crimp, get it connected. Then I've got to make the fly lead, which is a 95 mil earth, by the way, down into the little blue box, and over onto the, onto the banjo in there. Right, it's done. Go and have a look. And there we are. So the heat, heat shrink's all done. It's not one of my finest moments, but all things considered, I don't think it's too bad. Sorry for the rather abrupt ending there. Um, either I must have lost some of the stuff that I'd videoed or I just couldn't be bothered to say goodbye. But again, if you've watched it to the end, thank you very much. Um, over the moon that you're uh, following, watching, commenting and various other things. I just didn't think anyone would watch them, but... Thank you very much, little thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one, which um, I think might be in London, because uh, I've got a backlog of stuff, so there is stuff to come. Thanks a lot. See you later.